We are in Microsoft Excel 2013. I'm going to show you how to use the Merge and Center option. It's a little bit different than Wrap Text. Wrap Text will try to wrap everything inside the one cell. Merge and Center will do the same, but it'll only do it across the center as one line. So let's take a look. And as you can see here, we've got Merge and Center. It's going off of the, uh, the one particular cell. So we're going to move away, come back in again so our buttons light up, and click the Merge and Center option. Now when we do that, you can see that everything merges and follows into the center. It doesn't necessarily stay within the lines, but it is merged and centered into the one cell. So let's go ahead and delete that and we'll type some more information and we'll uh, make our cell a lot smaller. Okay, so we've got, let's try this again with lots more information in there. You can see that it goes way down the line here. So let's go ahead and click away. And then when we click back, we can see that the merge and center has gone ahead and uh, taken all that data and centered it across our one cell that we decided to, to type this in. If we chose a left-hand side over here, then it would just start from the middle and move all the way to the right. So this really doesn't work well all the way to the left or all the way to the right of your document. It works best when you choose the center cell in your worksheet.